This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This program lets you answer a question by typing with your keyword. The print block shows text on the screen. Make a prediction. What will happen after answering the question? Ah, and notice we can't run it. We can't run it till we select one of these guys. Once we do run it, your answer is submitted to your teacher. All right, or me, if that's me. Uh, the programmer will print hello. Oh, wait, let's see what this does. All right, so when we slap run, um, we'll be able to, I guess, enter our name. Now, it's giving us a preview here. Set the background to this. Yep. Uh, make this sprite. Yep, that's our preview. Set size. Okay, this is all making sense. Oh, and here we go. Prompt user for variable. What is your name? Now, look at this chunk right here. When name answered. Huh. So when the name is answered, let's see, print hello name explanation point. All right, so a few things. I want to point out that this is disconnected, right? Notice when run, it's like rounded at the top. Notice when name answered, kind of rounded at the top, right? These aren't connected. So that means when we do click run, there's no way this section of code is going to be executed. Now, I'm curious when it could be executed. Well. Thankfully, the block is helpful when name is answered. Well, what do we think name being answered is? I bet, I would bet, what is your name? I bet name being answered is when I fill this in and click clop clop. That's when the computer will say, oh, oh, name, name is answered. Now, why would it think this is name? How does the computer know that this is our name? It's not by magic. We told it. We said, hey, Print what is your name on the screen right here. And for the variable, for whatever we enter, right, for the information that whatever is provided for the variable, it's going to be set equal to name, right? And so this is similar. Name could be similar in math when you see like x plus 2 equals 3, right? x here would equal 1. Well, this would be similar to say name equals and then whatever the name would be. All right, so that being said, name's going to be equal to our name, and then print hello name. Oh, so I'm guessing then whatever we enter here, name is going to be subbed in, right? I don't think it's just going to print the word name because this isn't in quotes, right? Notice it's not in quotes here. These are, so I bet whatever value name is set to, it will be printed. Let's see, the program will print hello name, nah. Program will greet you with the name you type in. The sprite will change size. The computer will ask you another question. I'm thinking this. We got it. Awesome.